Hello, 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 and welcome back to week two of video recordings for my 2021 blog. I'm pretty excited about this. Just made that cardinal mistake again, though. You're not supposed to talk about the date because that makes your content not evergreen. Isn't this sweatshirt the cutest thing you've ever seen? I love it. I bought it at the beginning of 2020 when we started social distancing. And now, you know, it's the beginning of 2021. It's getting a little bit tiring, but it's a really cozy, comfy sweater. So today, what I want to talk to you about is list building. My question for you is this, is list building dead? People are constantly asking me, Lisa, what is the best way for me to build my mailing list? And while I have some ideas and strategies for people, I have to tell you, like I am constantly unsubscribing to mailing lists, which makes me think that list building may not be as hot as it once was. So three things I want to talk to you about today. Instead of thinking about list building, what I want you to think about is reach. How many people are you reaching with your message? In the work that our team does to support marketing for clients, we have this thing called a marketing, um, a marketing analytics dashboard. And we measure reach. And part of reach is list building, but it also includes the number of people that you're connected to on LinkedIn, the number of people who subscribe to your YouTube channel, the number of people who follow you on Twitter. We look at the collective size of your reach, your influence, your impact in not just with your list in isolation. So we look at it all because you have ways that you can influence and interact with people beyond your list. So I would encourage you not to be dissuaded if your list isn't growing as quickly as you would like it to, but I'm going to give you some strategies to help that. Uh, or even if your list is declining a little bit, I think we're going through a period of time where people are recalibrating their inboxes, especially at the beginning of the year, in order to ensure that only the best stuff gets to their inbox, which means that instead of just focusing on list building, you should also be focusing on delivering quality content to people if you want them to continue to want to hear from you. The second thing that I think you need to think about when it comes to your list is quality is more important than quantity. And yes, quality of content is important, but quality of list is important too. I received an email this morning from somebody whose mailing list I never signed up for. And like, it's just like, really? Why did you add me to your list? Do I look like I am your ideal buyer? So you can do things to build a ginormous mailing list, but if they're not the right people, then I don't want your 20,000 people on a mailing list if they're 20,000 of the wrong people. I'd rather have 2,000 of the right people. I would rather have a quality-based list that is responsive, that hits reply when I send things out, they engage with my content, they're buyers, they're not just browsers. So don't lose sight of the quality of your list. Don't lose sight of having the right people on the list in an effort to reach some vanity metric that some marketer told you that you needed to hit, to hit six figures or seven figures in your business. I will tell you, <clears throat> I have not followed any of those rules in my business to hit any of the sales goals that we have hit and it has all worked out okay. The third thing is the biggest mistake that I see people make when it comes to list building is they treat it like a one and done activity. <clears throat> so what I mean by that is they create a free offer. Download my free yada, yada, yada. So um, I have the pilot project, it's one of mine. Go to thepilotproject.com and download this free program. They create it. They treat it like a tactic instead of a strategy. They do it one time and the exact same thing that ebook they wrote in 1987 is still on their website. List building is an, building is an active thing. It's not passive. You don't just build it once and leave it because if your list isn't growing, then how do you know if it's the tool that you created or if it's that list building is dead? So you want to ensure that 
if you are actively trying to grow your mailing list, that you're thinking about new ways to build your mailing list all the time. And so I have three tips for you in, in terms of building your mailing list. One is create something people can subscribe to. You know, Donald Miller has business made simple videos. It's a daily video. Um, who is it? Uh, notes from the universe, subscribe to daily notes from the universe. These are like daily um, drippings of good content that people want to subscribe to and they call them something. So notes from the universe or business made simple. It's not just subscribe to my newsletter. Nobody wants another newsletter but they do want value. So give them something valuable to subscribe to. The second thing is give them something valuable to download. So number one is subscribe, number two is download. Give them something valuable to download. Maybe they're gonna download an ebook or a white paper or a toolkit or a spreadsheet or a PDF of how to map out your social media content for 52 weeks at a time. Give them tools and resources that are valuable to download, but give them something that's actually good. You know, part of the reason that people stop subscribing to lists is because they get inundated with junk. And part of the reason that they don't subscribe to your free thing is because it's not compelling enough. It's not helpful enough. It's not valuable enough. So whatever it is that you want them to download, make it so good that you could actually charge people for it. That's how you get people to join your mailing list. And then the third thing is join me. Join me on this webinar. Join me on this, uh, on the, in this membership forum area or group, whatever. Create something that they can join where there are other people. There's another community that they're connected to. Um, I forget what her name is, but she started this years ago uh, for Facebook groups and you had to join her mailing list in order to get an invite to the group. You can do things like that. Maybe you have a forum or maybe you have a webinar and you want people to join the webinar and you're not going to give away a replay. They got to actually join you in order to get the material. So stop thinking about list building as just a one and done thing. And instead, get creative about ways that people can subscribe to your learnings, they can download your tools and resources, or they can join you in a live stream environment or a community and get to know you more. The last thing I'm going to say before we wrap up on this video is be really mindful of this. While I say you don't want list building to be one and done, because I think you need to put a little bit more effort into it than that. You also want to be mindful of creating too many free things for people that are looking for free things because they have no money. If you are constantly targeting the wrong audience, if you're constantly creating free things for people who are in startup mode, if you're creating for the lowest common denominator, instead of creating something that's highly valuable for somebody who might invest in working with you, you're wasting your time. I have worked with people that have 10, 20,000 people on their mailing list and businesses that do less than $100,000 a year because they had mailing lists filled with buyers with no money. So be cognizant of not putting all of your time, effort, and energy into building a list and conditioning people that they should expect, you know, just on, on um, ongoing free stuff from you. You need to be strategic. So subscribe to my content, download my tool, join me on this webinar so that I can show you where you can take the next step to do business with me. But make sure that sequence, that pathway, that journey is for the right audience. Otherwise, you're not gonna make any money. You're not gonna attract any buyers. You're gonna have a great list, but you're not gonna have customers. So that's what I got for you today. I hope it was valuable and uh, I will see you next week. Bye for now.